What's going on guys? So today we got a brand new reveal from LEGO which is going to be a Spider-Man vs Venom mech battle set. So before we get too far into it, uh, I do want to say if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll keep you filled in on LEGO leaks, reviews, and news as soon as they come out. But other than that, let's hop into some of the details. So this set's going to be clocking in at 604 pieces and allegedly going to cost $50 according to Gizmodo who was in charge of the reveal for this set. Uh, and if you ask me, that's going to be an incredible, incredible deal. I'm um, very excited for this set if that's the true price. So let's take a look at the minifigures real quick. We're going to be getting a brand new Spider-Man minifigure. It's hope looking like we're going to be getting some dual molded legs there, along with a new face and torso print, completely new. We're going to be getting a what looks to be a new Venom minifigure as well, which is exciting. We haven't got one of those in a while. Along with a brand new Spider-Gwen minifigure, along with a new torso print for Aunt May. Uh, the anime doesn't look too much different than the one that we saw in the bridge battle set, but however, the spider Gwen's completely new, and I'm very excited to see this, and I know a lot of other people are as well. Um, I do think some of the customs out there do look a little bit better. Partic uh, I do think my custom that I have looks a little bit better, mainly because it's got the uh, pink and blue spider print right there along the hood, uh, which is something that LEGO doesn't traditionally do. I wasn't expecting that of them, but it's kind of a shame that that's going to be uh, left out of the official figure. So let's look at the set real quick. The spider mech looks really good. It looks very articulated. Obviously not quite as big as the Venom mech, but this is really, really nice that we're getting this. Uh, it looks a little sticker heavy along the feet, uh, legs, and torso. That's going to be fine. It looks like we're going to be getting some sort of stud shooter mechanism on the left hand and some sort of web claw on the right hand. We're getting lots of new web molds with this set, which is really awesome. Some of those recolored like power blast pieces right there uh, along the uh, cockpit to make it look like a... Uh, recolored in white to make it look like a web. Uh, this whole mech looks really good in my opinion, very articulated, lots of play value on this, especially for the younger kids. So let's hop over the Venom mech and see what's going on here. This whole mech looks just really good in my opinion, it looks very scary, I love all kind of like spooky scary stuff, so like this is really really cool to me. Uh, looks like the there's going to be points of articulation uh, within the ankles, along the hips, the arms, and it looks like the head's going to be pretty uh, solid right in there. Speaking of the head, it looks like there's going to be a brand new printed dome piece right there to uh, create Venom's eyes, which looks really badass. I'm really excited for that. All the little like tentacles or whatnot coming off the back look really, really good. The claws look good. Everything about this mech looks incredible. I'm not exactly sure uh, if the Venom figure can go in it or this is supposed to be like a morphed symbiote version of Venom. If that's the case, that's really cool. Either way, this looks incredible. Uh, the tongue sticking out looks awesome. I'm very excited to see some pictures of this on display at San Diego Comic Con this weekend just to see how big this set is. And like I said, 604 pieces for $50, that's just a really solid deal. And then on top of that, we're also going to be getting a small little surfboard, skateboard, floating jet type build or whatever for uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, it looks really cool. Nothing too, too special. Uh, the board looks like it's got a sticker on it, sadly, uh, but however, it's a welcome little addition to the set. On top of that, we're also be getting some new web molds, as you can see right down there at the bottom of the picture. I'm hoping that these new web molds are in the harder plastic and not necessarily that kind of soft, rubbery plastic that we've seen other parts molded in, especially the more detailed ones. Uh, we, we won't really know until this set comes out on shelves, uh, but I'm hoping that they are that hard plastic because those rubber pieces kind of, ah, uh, they're not that great to me. But overall, I think this set is just absolutely incredible, and I hope that price point that Gizmodo revealed is accurate, because that is a definite pickup for me. Uh, this set would look awesome next to my Spider-Man Bridge Battle set, uh, and I'm very, very excited to see some more from this. But other than that, uh, I want to know what you guys think about this set. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I love reading those. Love knowing what you guys think. If you like the video, drop a like below, and if you want to stay up to date on other LEGO content like this, uh, all, there's all sorts of other cool stuff on my channel, be sure to check it out and hit that subscribe button if you want more. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.